Okay, so today we're going to really focus on core strength. So the core of the body is not just the abdominal muscles. It's really about the using the inner muscles of the legs, the adductors, um, obviously the core as well, the abdominals, and then up towards even the chest and the arms as well. So we're going to hope you feel nice and warm and strong by the end of today. So we're going to start lying on your back, please, when you feel ready. Come slide down. Okay, and a lot of the ability to use our core properly actually starts with the breath. So as you're lying here, maybe just bend your knees so your feet are flat and your knees can just knock in and touch together. And then just place one hand on your stomach and one hand up on your chest. Starting by just noticing how you're breathing to begin with. And if it feels like your breath is all up in your chest, see if you can get your breath to go down towards your stomach. So as you breathe in through your nose, you can feel your stomach lift and expand. And as you breathe out, you can feel your stomach gently drawing back in. So again, breathe in, the stomach starts to lift, starts to expand and lift up. And as you breathe out, it gently draws in and down. Okay, so it's fine this movement of breath a couple of times. And just becoming aware of your lower back. So if your lower back feels like it's really arching off the ground, just try and relax it so maybe it softens back down a little bit. Yes, okay, and then we're going to start to move with the breath. So the next time that you breathe in, just take a big, big stretch out through your arms and legs. So reach out as big as you can. Okay, and then as you breathe out, again, draw your stomach in, bend the knees and really squeeze them in towards the chest. Yes, yeah, so as you breathe in again, everything reaches out as big as you can. Nice, so then again, exhale to bend the knees, really squeeze them in. All right, one more time together. So reach everything out. And now as you next draw your knees into your chest, we're gonna interlace the fingers, put them on top of your knees and start to make some big circles around one way. So the lower back is also an important part of the core. So you try and feel like you're sort of massaging your lower back here. Once you go one way a few times, just swap in directions. Okay, nice. All right, so now I'm going to bring the legs so the knees are bent and your legs are at a right angle. Lower back is flat to the floor. And this is our first core movement here. So stretch your right leg out, tap your heel on the floor, bring it up and in. Swap over, left leg stretches out, tap the heel, bring it in. Good. Again, so right side, tap the heel away. Good. Bring it in. Left side, tap the heel away. And then bring it in. Well done. So hug the knees to the chest. We're going to roll up and down through your spine a few times, so it's massaging through the back. And then the next time you come up, we're going to hover to come into Navasana or boat pose. So we're squeezing the inner thighs together, hands forward, and we're really lifting the chest. Good. So same movement here. Try and stretch your right leg out. Tap your heel on the floor. Bring it up and in. That's it. Left leg stretches out. Tap. And then bring it in. One more time. Right heel taps. And then left heel taps. Good, well done. All right, so let's come over onto hands and knees now before ready. So spread the fingers nice and wide. So the wrists are under the shoulders. So we're going to breathe in from here to lift the chest and lift the tailbone. And then breathe out to push the floor and round the spine. So come through a few little cat cow movements here. So again, as you exhale, you feel you're going to start to draw in as you round the spine and in how to open up. Okay, so we're going to add on to this movement. So the next time that you round your spine, we're going to tuck the toes and just hover the knees off the floor for a second, waking up the core. Yeah, bring the knees down, lift the chest, lift the tailbone, round the spine, hover the knees just off the ground, knees down, lift the chest, and then one more time, so push the floor, just hover the knees. Good, and now we're going to come into downward facing dog, so pressing the hips up and back. Lovely. So when you're there, give your legs a little stretch out. So one heel, then the other's pressing toward the ground. So the fingers are spread wide, the back of the neck is relaxed. And we're going to walk to the front of the mat now, so you're in a forward fold. So when we get there, we'll bring the feet a little bit wider. Let's relax the head, relax the hands, and take a gentle sway from side to side. So really let the back of the neck relax as much as you can. Yeah, nice. All right, then from there, we're going to slowly roll up to stand. So the head's the last thing to come up. Good, hands lift up as well. And then we're going to bring the hands through the middle. Good, from here, we're going to hook the thumbs together. Big stretch up with the arms. And then take a little side bend to the left. Good, then really use your core to bring you back into the centre. 
and side bend to the right. Good, nice, to the middle, and we'll start to warm up. So we're going to come to the front of the mat, feet about hip distance. As you breathe in now, we're lifting the hands all the way up. As you breathe out, forward fold coming down. So we're going to step the right foot back, lower the knee to the ground. As you breathe in, both hands coming up. Good, as you breathe out, big circle back. So just one more time like that, open up the shoulders. Then we'll bring the hands down inside the front leg to begin with. We're going to take your front leg straight back behind you. Take a breath in, stretch it out. Good, as you breathe out, knee to nose, really round the spine. Good, again, stretch the leg away. Knee to nose, round the spine. And then one more time, stretch it out. And then knee to nose. Good, try and step that foot back to where it was and step it forward. We're going to lift the back knee off the floor and then twist your left hand lifts up. Good, nice. Hands come to the floor. We step into down facing dog again. Okay, so from here, we're coming into our plank position. So bring the shoulders over the wrist. See how that feels? Good. And then pushing back into downward facing dog. So again, coming into your plank. Nice straight spine. Hold it there. Downward facing dog. And then one more time. So this time as you come into your plank, hold it. And the little gap between your feet, try and squeeze it. So imagine you're trying to pull your feet towards each other. And that'll engage the inner thighs and the lower core. Yeah, well done. From here, we're going to lower down, drop the knees, bend the elbows into cobra. So we're going to lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Good. And then tucking the toes. Just hop of the knees off the floor for a second. So we're using the core. And then downward facing dog. Good, so again, give the legs a little stretch out. And then we'll step to the front of the mat in our forward fold, coming up to stand, so we lift the hands. Thumbs hooked together. So again, take a little side bend to the right. That's it, good. Reuse your core as you come into the center. And then a side bend to the left. And then through the middle. Good, well done. So coming into your forward fold again, hands coming down. So we'll set the left foot back, lower the knee. As you breathe in, both hands stretching up. As you breathe out, big circle back. So one more time like that, as big as you can. Nice, then hands coming just inside the leg. So bring your legs straight up behind you, take a breath in. As you breathe out, knee to nose and round through the spine. Good, again, breathe and stretch it up. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, stretch the leg out. Then bring the knee to the nose, step the foot where it was, and try and step it forward. We're going to lift the back knee and then twist, so right arm lifts up. Good, nice. Hands coming down and then down the facing dog. Good. So again, come into your plank, like we did just now, try and think about squeezing your feet towards each other, so your inner thighs and your core are engaged. And then we'll lower down, bend the elbows into cobra, so we'll open the chest. Good, well done. All right, chest comes down. So let's bring some awareness to the back now, to the lower back, that important part of the core. So hands alongside your body. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades and squeeze the glutes, then lift everything up. Good, that's it. So really lifting your chest nice and high, drawing your shoulders back. Good, fantastic. Lift the legs nice and high as well. Just one more moment. And then slowly rest down. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna bring the forearms onto the ground now. So the elbows under your shoulders. So a little bit more focused core strength here. So hands are nice and flat. We've got the index fingers pointing forward. We're gonna tuck the toes so you can lift your hips off the ground and then lift the knees if you can to a forearm plank. Good. So like we did just now, try and imagine pulling your feet towards each other and try and imagine pulling your elbows towards each other. So the whole front of your body is engaged and strong. Good, and then slowly come down, take a nice breath. Good, okay, so again, we're gonna tuck the toes, lift the hips, lift the knees. Imagine pulling your feet towards each other, pull your elbows towards each other, push your finger pads down. Good, slowly come down, take a breath. Good, so if you're feeling a bit tired, you can always squeeze your hands together for more support. So for the last one again, we're gonna tuck the toes, so lifting the hips, lifting the knees. So again, pull the feet and the elbows towards each other. And this time, squeeze your glutes as well. So we make sure the tailbone's slightly tucked. 
So everything's really engaged here. You might be shaking a little bit, keep breathing. And then come down. Well done. So relax the head. Just give the hips a little sway from side to side there to release the muscles. Okay, well done. So hands on the shoulders. We're going to come up onto hands and knees. Tucking the toes. We're just hovering the knees off the floor for a second. And then down facing dog. Brilliant. All right, so let's step to the front of the mat. Coming up to stand. So we lift the hands. Okay, one more side bend here. So hook the thumbs. Side bending to the right. Try and use your core to come to the center. Side bend to the left. And then to the middle. Okay, while well I'm relaxing the hands. Good, all right, it's gonna come through our standing flow here. So using the core a little bit more. So we're gonna lift the hands all the way up and then bend the knees. Sit about halfway, nice and strong. Good, we're gonna forward fold now. Hands come down and then step back into downward facing dog. Okay, so from here, we're going to breathe in to lift the right leg up behind you. As you breathe out, knee to nose and shoulders over the wrists. Good. Again, lift the leg. Same again, knee to nose. So really push the floor away. Brilliant. Good. Lift the leg up. And then we're going to step the foot between the hands there. All right, so come into warrior one. The back heel is down. And we're going to lift both hands all the way up. Good. Nice. Okay, so using your lower back here, that part of the core. Bring the arms alongside you, squeeze your shoulder blades, and come forward about halfway. Give us it. a really nice, strong spine. We're going to come into warrior three from here. So balancing uses the core a lot. Bring your back leg straight back behind you. Then we're going to have a little go here at staying on one leg as we come upright. So the hands lift, and that knee comes nice and high up to your chest. Good. Come back where you came from. So press the leg back, arms back behind you. Good, one more time just like that. So slowly coming up, lift the knee nice and high, lift the hands. Good, well done, then send the leg back and the hands are gonna come down to the ground. Good, nice. So with the hands on the floor now, we're gonna step the leg back, turn the feet to the long side of the mat. Good, all right, so using the space you got, we're gonna keep the feet wide apart, walk the hands forward. So now we're over in a plank again, but your feet are wide apart. Good. So from here, again, imagine you could pull your feet towards each other, pull your hands towards each other, the body really engaged. Try and hold this for a moment longer. And then slowly walk the hands back in towards you. Brilliant. So from here, bend the knees a little bit. Hands come onto your hips and we come off about halfway. Good. Squeezing the shoulder blades. Bring the hands wide if you can. That's it. Nice. Good. And then coming up to stand. Lovely. All right, so turn the feet outwards now. We're going to bend the knees for a high squat. So this time the hands are going to come behind the head. And we, we're doing some side bends, but again, we're using the core to bring us there. So we're going to side bend to your right, elbow towards your thigh, get your elbows wide. Then again, use your core to bring you through the centre and side bend to the left. Really nice. Get elbows wide, slowly side bend to the right. And then slowly side bend to the left. Fantastic, good. So coming to the centre, we're going to straighten the legs, turn the feet parallel, and then warrior two. So right foot turns forward, and we bend the knee. So arms stretch out wide, come into side angle, forearm to thigh, and other arm stretches alongside your ear. Good. So to use more core strength here, this is just an option. You could get your bottom arm and stretch that out alongside your ear as well. Good. Be mindful of your back. One more second. Then both hands come down to the front of your mat. We're going to step back into our plank position. Good. So from here, we're going to take your right knee forward towards your nose. Just squeeze it in like a mountain climber movement. Then left knee forward. One more time. Right knee forward. Good. And then left knee forward. Perfect. Let's lower down. Bend the elbows. Into cobra. So we lift the chest. Good, nice. Bringing the chest down. So focusing on the back here again, that part of the core. Arms alongside your body. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze the glutes and lift everything up. Yeah, that's it. So this time, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, maybe take your arms nice and wide. Or option is to take your arms forward. But again, that is quite challenging there. Keep breathing. Even keep a nice slow breath, even though it's strong. 
and then relax the head down. And again, just sway the hips to relaxing that lower back. Yeah, well done. So hands on the shoulders, coming onto our hands and knees. So again, from here, we're going to tuck the toes, just hovering the knees off the floor. Good, well done. And then down facing dog. Okay, so we're going to step to the front of the mat from our forward fold. Coming up to stand, so we're lifting the hands. Good, and then relaxing the arms. Okay, we're going to lead with the left side now. So bend the knees nice and deep, stretch the arms up, and then gently forward fold. So stepping into downward facing dog. So this time we're going to lift the left leg all the way up, knee to nose, and bring the shoulders over your wrists. Good. Again, lifting the leg. Same again, knee to nose, shoulders forward. One more time, lift the leg. And you're going to step the foot forward now between your hands. So go into warrior one, bring the back heel down and the arms are up. So you've got a hip bone space in the front. From here, the arms alongside the body, squeeze the shoulder blades and come forward to halfway. Good, that's it. So really draw the shoulders back. This time, the option, like we did a second ago, is to bring your arms wide, just an option, or forward. And from there, warrior three. So back leg straight back behind you. So again, let's see if we can stay on one foot as we now come upright. Lift the knee nice and high. Good, and then send that leg back behind, but keep your arms reaching forward. Good, nice. One more time there, coming slowly up, wobbling spine. And then slowly back. So bring the hands to the ground from here. Take a big step back, and then turning the feet to the long side of your mat again. Okay, so keeping our feet wide, one more time, we're going to walk the hands forward, so we end up in the plank with the feet wide, just use the space you have. And again, we're just holding this, so try and imagine you can pull your feet towards you, like you're trying to scrunch your mat up, and pull your hands in. Yeah, nice. Even squeeze your glutes a little bit so your tailbone is tucked. Then walk your hands back in towards you. We're going to take a little bend in the knees, hands on the hips, and we come halfway up. That's it, good, to squeeze the shoulder blades, hands nice and wide, and then up to stand. Okay, well done. So toes turned outwards, bend the knees. One more time for these side bends. So hands behind the head, elbows wide. Side bend to the right, keep the elbows wide apart. Good, then use your core to come through the center, and side bend to the left. Perfect, nice, good. So you can push your head into your hands a little bit. Side bend to the right one more time, using the obliques. And then side bend to the left. Good. So to the middle, we're going to turn the feet parallel. Warrior two, so left toes turn forward. We bend the knee, hands are wide. Okay, that's it. So uh, side angle now, forearm to thigh. Top arm stretches right alongside your ear. And again, if you want to make this stronger, stay exactly as you are, but just take your bottom arm and stretch that forward. Good. If your lower back's twinging, just come back to the position you're in. Nice. Both hands come down to the front of the mat, and we're going into our plank position. So one more time for this. Pull the left knee towards your nose. Swap over right knee to nose. One more time. Left knee to nose. And then right knee to nose. Okay, let's lower down. Then the elbows into cobra. So we open the chest. Okay, well done. So one more movement here for the lower back. For this one, we're going to rest the head down on the hands. Good. Keep the feet quite wide. We're just squeezing the glutes enough so you can lift your legs up. Okay, yeah, nice. It's a bit of movement here. Try and squeeze your legs together, nice and tight. And then take the feet wide apart. Good. And again, squeeze together. Wide apart. One more time, squeeze together. Wide apart, and then relax them. Good. So just sway that lower back. The last couple of bits now. So we're going to come up to sit in a seat position with the feet in front of you. Okay, we're going to hold the back of the thighs, squeeze the legs together, and keep a straight, straight spine as you just lean back. Yeah, that's it. Suppose you maybe like leaning back into a chair here. So then we're going to lift the legs up, so your shins are parallel to the ceiling. Good. Keep squeezing the legs together. Then see if you can take your arms forward. 
Good. Option here is to bring your legs a little bit straighter. Good, keep squeezing and maybe lift the arms up. So keep lifting your chest as high as you possibly can. Take one more second here. And then relax it down. Good, really well done. So just lean back into the hands for a moment. Just drop the knees gently one way than the other. Okay, we're gonna do one more core movement here and then we're gonna stretch, stretch it all out because sometimes it can make the hips a bit tight. So come to roll it down onto your back. So when you're in the back, we're gonna, like we did at the beginning, have the knees bent, shins parallel to the ceiling and your arms wide. So try and feel the lower back is pressing to the floor. Then from here, we're going to take your knees and just drop them down to your left and hover them off of the floor. So try to squeeze your knees together. Good, then roll into the centre. Really focus on pressing your lower back down. Good, drop the knees to the right now. Hold it there for a second. Good, press your lower back down as you come through the middle. One more time, over to the left. Make sure your heels haven't come too close to your bum. Good, press the lower back, come through the middle. One more time to the right, hover there for a second. Good, then come through the middle. Well done, last bit now, stretch the legs up. Do three pulses here, so with your legs up in the air, reach your hands up and then lift. So use your core to lift up, try and touch your toes. If you don't touch them, it doesn't matter, go towards them. I'm not touching them. And then come down. And then again, lift. Try to touch those toes. Come down. One more time. As you reach and try to touch your toes, draw your ribs in. So draw the stomach in towards you. And then come down. Fantastic. Well done. Pull the knees into your chest. Have a little rock from side to side. And then we'll finish just by stretching out the hips for a moment. So feet to the floor. We're going to cross your left ankle over your opposite knee. Make sure your foot is flexed. Then you can stay here, or you can hold your right thigh and squeeze your legs in for a little hip stretch there. Good. So after that strength, try and let your breathing completely relax now. Sometimes when we use the core, it's easy to hold the breath, so nice and slow now. Good, and then swapping over gently. So right ankle across the other knee. Hold the left thigh if you can. And really relax your shoulders, taking some nice deep breaths here. Okay, so well done. Okay, so you're going to bring the feet to the floor. This time, bring the soles of your feet together. Let the knees drop apart. So bring the hands down onto the lowest part of your stomach now. And focus on really relaxing it, because it needs to be... Um, relax, not tense now. So relax your hands and your stomach. We'll take a nice big breath in to where your hands are. And as you breathe out, just let your stomach relax completely. And so again, as you breathe in, nice deep breath, feeling the stomach lift and expand. As you breathe out, feel it relax. And one more time, feel the stomach lift and expand as you breathe in. And then letting your stomach relax completely. Good. So we'll gently draw the knees into the chest. Come and roll yourself up to sit from here. So if you're able to sit in a seated position or any way that's comfortable for you, last couple of stretches. So we're turning to the left. Walking the hands over that left knee a little bit for a hip stretch there. Good. Slowly coming through the centre. Turn to the right. Walking the hands over the right knee for a little hip stretch there. Stretch up the lower back as well. Good. Coming to the centre. Then walk the hands down through the middle. Just put the weight in the hands. Let your head relax. Good. And as you come up to the centre, it's relaxing the hands. We're going to take one more big, big breath in. And a long, slow breath out. Good. All right today.